The whole objective behind the review was to uncover new insights into Lucy's medical condition and understand perhaps um, how we might address uh, some of her health issues. She does have a severe breathing issue, a respiratory challenge, and it's something that has caused previous experts that have uh, examined her to warn against moving her from our zoo. The, the stress associated with that travel could be life-threatening and would be life-threatening for her. They had hoped um, to uncover or diagnose exactly what the cause of this respiratory issue is because it has been a mystery. We know that after just a short bit of exercise, she has to gasp for breath and we'd love to know what's the cause of it. You know, I think for many of these experts that were visiting before they came, it was kind of, we'll have to see it to believe it. Can, is there really an elephant that breathes exclusively through her mouth? This is not common and they did see it and they now do believe it. They discovered uh, a uterine tumor uh, that is quite common in elephants that have not given birth before. This, uh, however, the one they discovered is quite large and as it turns out, is treatable with a vaccine. Uh, so they prescribed this vaccine and we've been administering that vaccine and we look forward to having them back to find out if in fact that, that has been reducing the size of her tumor. Obviously, the, the tumor tumor in her uterus can impact her life expectancy because it's causing increasing discomfort that we have to treat with medication. It's also um, because it's such a big mass, if for whatever reason, um, sometimes accidents happen or even there, there's no actual physical accident, what we hear about like stroke in people. So that's basically a, a blood vessel that bursts and, and bleeds. It can happen in the tumor too. Because it's so big, it could be life-threatening. I would say that considering her age, she's doing pretty well. Um, I, you know, I, I would like to see her lose weight. She has already, and I'd like to see her keep losing weight to get to a nice, um, you know, healthy weight. Uh, but I think that uh, for a 47-year-old, she's doing pretty well.